Good morning, or evening, or afternoon, depending on when you might be watching this video. This is going to serve as a good introduction into the 5D process, or some people call it the guess and check process. Um, if you already know it, you can go ahead and watch this again, but it is kind of long because I'm going to explain um, why we do each step. So, the 5D process, or the guess and check process, is just a way to help us solve word problems by helping us organize the information um, so that we can kind of get to the answer quicker. So 5D. The reason it's called 5D is because there are um, five parts to it and whoever decided to name this came up with 5D words to help us to remember. So the first part is going to be to describe. I'm going to describe what the important parts of the information are or draw. If it happens to be about a triangle or something, maybe I will draw it. Then I'm going to define. So whatever items are in the problem that I don't know, I need to define those things. I'm going to do something, depending on what the problem says to do, and then decide if then my final answer is correct. Last, we have to declare, and that's when I'm going to write the final answer in a sentence. So let's use this example um, to go through and teach you how to set up a 5D process. Okay, so Emily noticed that on Halloween, her child got three basic types of candy, chocolate, gummy, and hard candy. She had 15 more hard candies than chocolate, and the gummy candies were five less than twice the amount of chocolate. If she had a total of 178 pieces of candy, how many of each type did she get? Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is go through again and describe. Now, because I have this on my iPad, or maybe you have it on paper, for my describe part, I'm just going to highlight the important pieces of information. If you're doing a problem out of the book and then you're writing your answers on a piece of notebook paper, then we want you to actually write down what the basic um, pieces of information are. Okay, so if I'm reading this, let's see, she's got chocolate, gummy, and hard candy. So there's three things. And then what we know about them is that she had 15 more hard candies than chocolate. The gummy candies were five less than twice the amount of chocolate. And she had a total of 178 pieces of candy. So those three things are the important things in the problem to help me get an answer. All of those things have to be true in order for my answer to be right. Okay, so to start with, if you notice on this table, there's a part that says guess. Um, one of those three things, we've got chocolate, we've got gummy, and we've got hard candy. So out of those three things, one of them I'm going to start with and guess a number for each time. And once I guess that number, I'm going to use the information in the problem to figure out what the other ones would have to be. So this is always the first step. The first step, take a couple seconds to try to figure out which of those things that we don't know should we start with. So if I'm reading this again, it says she had 15 more hard candies than chocolate, and the gummy candies were five less than twice the amount of chocolate. So there's two things I want to notice, two clues to help me figure out I'm going to use chocolate to be my guess. And the reasons are that chocolate ended up um, showing up in my word problem more often than anything else. So probably that's a good idea that I might start with chocolate. The other thing would be that if I knew how much chocolate Emily's daughter had, then I could figure out the other two. Because if I knew how much chocolate... I could add 15 to figure out how many hard candies. And if I knew how much chocolate, I could do five less than twice the amount of chocolate to get the gummy candies. So I'm going to start with chocolate. Again, that's always the first step. Figure out which thing should I start with. I'm going to start with chocolate. I'm going to put a C for chocolate, if that's okay with you, since my column is pretty short there. And then I've got two more things. I've got gummy candy and hard candy. And so in this define section, I'm going to separate it into two more columns. Sometimes you might need three, depending on the problem. Okay, so I'm going to have hard candy. So I'm going to write what it is. And I've got gummy candy, what it is. So if you notice over here, 
it says what is it. So at the top, I'm saying what it is. I've got chocolate, I've got hard candy, I've got gummy candy. And then underneath it, you're going to say, how am I going to get it? So for the chocolate, I'm guessing. Okay, that's the only one I'm guessing. For hard candy, it tells us that she had 15 more hard candies than chocolate. So if I know the chocolate, and I'm going to put a C for chocolate, and I'm going to add 15 to that. That is how I will figure out how many hard candies. The other thing that I know is for gummy candy, it says that there were five less than twice the amount of chocolate. Now I want to point this out to you, so pay attention here. It says five less. That does not mean five minus, okay? So no, 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 that does not mean five minus. Five less means I'm actually subtracting five from something, because I, whatever that is, I have five less than that. And in this case, I have five less than twice the amount of chocolate. Twice here means two times. So two times the amount of chocolate. So that's what I'm gonna write down. So for my gummy candies, I have five less, so remember I'm subtracting five from twice, so two times the amount of chocolate. Notice I just wrote C for chocolate. That's kind of how variables started. I didn't feel like writing the word chocolate out, so I'm just using a C to represent how much chocolate. Okay, now let's go, what am I going to do? Well, it tells us that we had a total of 178 pieces of candy. So what is it? It's going to be my total here. How am I going to get the total? And I'm going to take the chocolate plus the hard candy plus the gummy candy. And to decide if I'm right, it should add up to 178 pieces. Okay, so now we can get started. This, again, that we just did is going to be the hardest thing, is taking your time to figure out how am I going to get all of these things. Now I'm just going to guess a number for chocolate, do all of my work, and then decide or check it to see if I'm right. So I know that I need 178 pieces total. I've got three things. I'm going to start with 50. It's a nice easy number to start with. Remember I'm guessing that there's 50 pieces of chocolate. So to get hard candy, I'm going to do 50 plus 15, which is 65. So if there were 50 pieces of chocolate, there would have been 65 pieces of hard candy. And then to get gummy, I'm going to do two times the chocolate, which is 50, and then five less than that. So 100 minus five is going to be 95. So if there were 50 pieces of chocolate, there would be 95 pieces of gummy candy. And so then the total is going to be 50 for the chocolate, plus 65 for the hard candy, plus 95 for the gummy candy. And I'm actually gonna take my calculator here and do 50 plus 65 plus 95, and that is 210. 210 is too high, so I was wrong, but that's okay. When I get something wrong, that's good information. I know then that I have less than 50 pieces of chocolate, so I'm gonna go with 40, because it's still a nice, pretty number to work with, and it's less than 50. So now, if there were 40 pieces of chocolate, 40 plus 15 is 55 pieces of hard candy and then twice the number of chocolate, two times 40, and then five less than that is going to be 75, and then 40 pieces of chocolate plus 55 pieces of hard candy plus 75 pieces of gummy candy, let's see, 40 plus 55 plus 75 is 170. So 170 is too low, but again, it's good information. I'm really close. Um, so it's closer to 40 pieces of chocolate than it is 50, but it's a little bit more. So let's go with 42. All right, so 42 pieces of chocolate plus 15 would be 57 pieces of hard candy. Twice 42 pieces of chocolate, and then 5 less than that would be 84 minus 5. That would be 79 pieces of gummy and then 42 plus 57 plus 79. Notice I am writing all the work. Even though I'm using a calculator, I'm still writing all of that work in there. That way your teacher can make sure you're at least using the right numbers and the process is the same. And hey, guess what? When I add those three, I get 178, so I'm right. 
So I don't need to do trial four or trial five because I have my answer. I will say though that a lot of times your teachers want you to at least write down three trials so that you get the idea of what's going on. If I needed more than five, I could just continue on another piece of paper, that's fine. But I got my answer. So what that means is, and I'm going to use my declare here, I'm going to write my answer in a sentence. If you don't write your answer in a sentence, I will warn you, your teachers will take off a point, even though your answer might be right. So my final answer would be that um, she had 42 pieces of chocolate, Um, 57 hard candies and 79 pieces of gummy and that would give you final answer it took me 11 minutes right now to explain all this once you get the hang of it it won't take you that long and trust me I as a math teacher would do the more complicated problems this way okay all right, if you have questions, you can go back and rewind this. You can pause it. You can um, ask your teacher.